Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. My name is Ruchi and today I am going to show you how to uh, propagate elephant bush from cuttings. So elephant bush plant is a succulent that is hardy in USDA zones 10 and 11. Um, they are a native of South Africa and they get their name because elephants love to feed on them. They have these dark colored stems with glossy round leaves that look like you know jade plant leaves. Uh, they thrive in warm brightly lit areas. Uh, they can be grown outdoors also where they can grow as tall as 20 feet. And if they are grown indoors then in containers they will probably go till one or two uh, feet only. Now here is uh, an already established uh, elephant bush plant. It is a variegated one because it has all these you know white and green streaks in the leaves. And here I have a cutting uh, which is a plain uh, elephant bush and I'm going to uh, plant it in this small planter. So uh, the plant needs well drained soil with a succulent soil mix with a lot of sand and uh, they're drought tolerant. When you get the cutting, you know, the first thing you do is that you lay it out in a shaded area for a couple of days so that callus forms on the end. Now, if you come and look at this, I left it out for a couple of days and the callus has formed. So this way, you know, it doesn't rot when it goes in the soil. So now in this planter, I'll just make a hole deep enough so that you know this uh, branch or the uh, cutting is supported just put it in and push it down that's about it put some more soil and press it and water it a little bit and that's it and then, uh, I mean, normally succulents like uh, full sun, but because we just made a cutting, I mean, we just planted a cutting, and so it needs a little bit care. So I'm going to leave it in a shaded area for uh, a week, and then depending on how it is doing, I'll move it to the sunny area. So uh, it's been uh, two months now, and uh, this plant has been sitting uh, inside my house on the south facing window. So it gets a lot of sun, direct sunlight and a lot of indirect sunlight. And you can see that it has some growth. So on the top, all this green stem, that's new growth, about three inches. And all other branches also, you know, the green part, the green stem is new growth, about one inch in each uh, branch. Although it has shed, you know, some leaves. Now, leaf drop is a common problem in this plant. Uh, it can happen if it is overwatered or underwatered. So you have to be consistent with your watering. But just make sure that they are not sitting in wet soil. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, the leaves will drop and the roots will start to rot. You can also fertilize them in spring uh, during the growth period. In winters, they become dormant, but uh, you know, once winters are over, in spring, you know, uh, they'll uh, they'll grow and they'll produce uh, small pink flowers. So that's about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening! Bye.